All right, challenge number two is also to create some space in your Google Drive for all of your coursework. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into my drive and I'm going to go hit this big old new button. And I have an option to make a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a new folder. And this one's going to be called math. And I'll just go ahead and paste it in. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make another folder. This folder is going to be called history. And I'll do one more for right now. And this one is going to be called English. Now, you'll see my folders across the bottom here, and I can do a couple really nice things. One, I can click right-click on each one, and I can change the colors. What's nice about changing the colors is it just visually helps you see where those folders are. And so you can kind of just tell as your drive fills up with more things uh, that you'll have those places for all of your course work. Now, inside of the folders, you can make subfolders, and you can actually share an entire folder if you wanted to to work collaboratively with somebody else. Um, but this is just one way to help get yourself organized in your Google Drive. All right, so once you're in your Google Drive, if you go to New, you'll see all your options. You can upload files and folders, and then you have the options of making Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and under More, you'll see all sorts of things like Google Forms, Drawings, My Maps, Google Sites, and a few others. Um, they're all really, really cool tools, and they all do awesome things, but let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and make a doc, a Google Doc. Okay, once I made the doc, uh, I'm going to go ahead and title this one English. Oops. And you'll see there's a little folder and a star here. Now, if I star it, it stars it. It's just kind of a way to filter um, in your drive for different documents that have been starred. But I can use this folder, and I can use this folder to move my document. So I can use this folder, or I can use the folder here to move my document into my English folder. Move here. Uh, when I go to my Google Drive, you'll see a couple things. Is one, uh, if I go to Starred, I'll see that English document. If I go to Recent, I'll see the documents I've recently opened. And if I go to my Drive here, um, I can click into my English folder and I'll see that document there. Now I can also move this document if I just click and drag, hover over my Drive, and I'll see those folders that I have. Uh, appear in this drop down here and I can actually move that if I wanted to move it into history I can move it into history and in just a second it should appear right here in history but I don't want it in history I really want it in English so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it back now if I go back to that English document uh, I'm going to unstart because I don't actually want it in my start. I have some options under the sharing permissions. Now, if you're using Google Classroom to turn in work, uh, Classroom will take care of the sharing permissions between you and your teacher. However, maybe you want to work collaboratively with somebody. And you can go ahead and you can enter their email address right in there, their PUSD Google account, and we'll go ahead and send the invitation. So the other thing I can do is if I hit that share button, And I go down to these advanced settings. You'll see, hi, student. That is uh, me. I'm the owner. Uh, I've shared it with Mr. Padway. And I can give him owner access, edit access, comment access, view access. And I can even set an expiration. However, uh, maybe I want to share this. Um, so I have a couple options. If I go to advanced settings, I can share public on the web. This means people can actually search for my doc. It's probably not recommended. Uh, the ones that you really want to look at are these two, anyone with the link and anyone uh, at Pleasanton Unified School District with the link. If I select this option, anyone in Pleasanton Unified with the link, that means that anybody I share this document with, as long as they have a PUSD Google account, will be able to access and view it. Um, if I change it down here, anybody in PUSD can edit, then anybody would be edited. I'd be very careful if you do that. Anyone with the link means that anybody who gets this link, whether it's posted, sent via email, uh, shared online, they'll be able to access the document. And again, I have options to let them view, edit, or comment. Uh, this is good if you want to share something with your parents uh, who don't have a Pleasanton Unified School District Google account. Um, so you'll have to make your, your decisions. You can always change the sharing permissions.